Hello and welcome to All for Shooters. We're testing today the Caldwell Veloci Radar Ballistic Chronograph. The Veloci Radar is uh, a uh, ballistic chronograph that actually uses uh, radar technology, hence the name. Uh, this technology uh, has been in use uh, since the 1950s to um, study ballistics in a lot of uh, uh, government-owned uh, facilities because the price of uh, these uh, systems were so high. It took uh, the better part of uh, 50 to 60 years to actually have this technology trickle down to consumer grade uh, products even though the technology was still quite expensive and not on a par with the standard uh, gated uh, uh, chronographs that are used uh, uh, in front of the gun and uh, measure the speed of the bullet. These uh, chronographs have been used and are very accurate for ages but they have drawbacks. First of all, it has to be in front of the muzzle, which means that anything can happen if you put things in front of a muzzle. So radar technology is much better uh, in principle because you can have uh, the uh, device uh, to be uh, slightly behind the muzzle. It, it can be sideways to the gun, so I have a much more accurate uh, muzzle velocity. Second thing, most radars today are based on a technology called Doppler and this gives the actual speed of the bullet at one specific distance from the device. But we're talking of the Caldwell Velocity Radar, which just came out, which uses uh, a very innovative technology called CHIRP technology. It's an acronym. It means uh, Compressed High Resolution Pulse Radar. And uh, this means that the microwave beam that is emitted from the radar is actually modulated and compressed. And this means that it can track continuously the bullet as it exits the barrel of the gun up to a distance. In the case of the Velociradar, this distance is 100 yards and it measures 10 steps every 10 yards from the muzzle all the way to that distance. And this means that not only it will give us a very accurate uh, speed reading of every bullet that we basically measure, but it will also allow us to have the deceleration of this bullet as it progresses downrange. Meaning that I can actually calculate the ballistic coefficient with a very high degree of accuracy. We can see that the uh, Velocity Radar is quite big and this is because the Chirp technology needs a very large uh, antenna and therefore although we see that competitor products that have been introduced in the market are very small, extremely small if in fact in this case, the uh, features that it gives cannot be obtained uh, affordably with a much smaller radar. The Veloci Radar is quite hefty, weighing about 1.3 kilograms. It comes with a uh, decent tripod with a ball head. The ball head is needed to aim the radar uh, towards uh, the target using the aiming device that's built on top of uh, the Veloci Radar. Uh, this is needed because uh, the quite narrow beam of the microwave needs to be constantly in the path of the bullet and uh, we can do this easily by aiming directly to the uh, target that we're shooting on. Uh, the uh, interface consists of eight buttons and a LCD color screen that is in the middle of the device. As I said, it comes with this tripod. I am not very fond of it because it's not very stable and the buttons are pretty hard to press and uh, it is easy to disalign the uh, Veloci Radar on, uh, the, uh, on the tripod by trying to uh, basically navigate the menu. An easy fix of course is simply use your cell phone to connect to the Velociradar 
and download all of the data and uh, the various strings that we're doing. The Veloci radar has an integrated and sealed Li-on battery. It is rechargeable. If the battery is depleted, the device can work off a decently sized power bank. The display is bright. However, it looks like a larger display was uh, considered because uh, the window would accommodate even a 4.5 inch sized screen instead of the very small 2.8 diagonal. Now, the Caldwell Veloci Radar can be controlled either by a microphone that will make the radar beam go off when uh, the shot is detected, or by recoil using a provided sensor that can be fixed on the gun and is connected with a cable to the ballistic chronograph. The measurable speeds range from 250 all the way up to 4,500 feet per second with a 0.1% accuracy. And uh, the uh, uh, device is able to store up to 100 sessions or strings with up to 100 shots per each session. As I said, the device is quite large because it's 273 millimeter per 203 millimeter per 50 millimeter of thickness, which is pretty big. The uh, device is compatible with uh, iOS and Android using the smartphone Bluetooth connection. I received the sample of the Caldwell Velociradar ballistic chronograph from strobel.cz. Uh, the price at strobel.cz is 649 euro. Uh, that is a VAT included for most of Europe. The uh, price is uh, quite affordable in my opinion because of uh, the amount of uh, features that the uh, Velociradar is able to give even compared with many of its competitors right now on the market. And of course, there is always a balance between uh, features, prices, and things such as size. On the other hand, though, the, for the serious shooter, the fact that it can calculate ballistic coefficients and it can give a much higher degree of accuracy because the bullet is actually tracked down up to 100 yards and uh, that it also calculate dope and standard deviation uh, and so on and, and so forth which are basically standards uh, in most of these devices make it a uh, primary uh, product for the uh, serious competi competitor and shooter. Uh, please continue following alphashooters.com. Any questions, uh, comments, uh, please post them below. If you had a chance to test this, please let us know also what you think of it.